Pour la prisonnier politique, pour le traitement inhumain, inhumain, cruel qu'ils doivent subir, c'est qui contre tous les droits humains. Contre... سرکوبگر رژیم با باتون شکر برقی و کمربند به بند یک زندان زنان در شهر ری در نزدیکی تهران حمله کردند و زنان بیدفاع این بند را به شدت مورد ضرب و جر قرار دادند در این بند که مساحت آن حدود 190 متر مرد
سنگ سرد زندون نه سقف بی ستاره نه گارد ویژه بند که فکر حمله داره نه حجم دیوارایی که سنگی و بلندن نه تختای شکنجه که من و روش میبندن تو انفرادی در حال اعتصابم وقتی با پشت زخمی کنج دیوار میخوابم حتی با دست بسته دلم پر از یقینه یه خلقی تو کمینه شکستن امینه نه Marina Yanakadakis. I am a London MEP um, with the Conservative Party. Um, as a London MEP, I represent 8 million people. So I think we need, we, there's much work for us to do to, to say what's going on and the injustices. I first became interested from hearing about the camp in uh, Brussels from my good friend Struan Stevenson, who's an MP for Scotland. But that's how I got involved from Struan. And as I found out the atrocities that happened in Camp Ashraf, it saddened me. Um, as you, we all know, there have been three attacks on the camp, July 2009, April 2011, and the latest one, which was a crazy attack in 2013, or in September, when you didn't really have many people there to attack. It just shows the injustice has no logic in it. Not that the whole thing has any logic. For whatever reason, that they were there, and they had made it their home. And as we know, there were at some stage 3,000 people. They weren't doing anything to anyone. And then suddenly they decided to break up the camp, and they were going to split people up and split up families. But these people took it with dignity. And I think that's important to remember. These people are very dignified. All through everything they have suffered, I have seen great dignity. Um, and they took it with dignity and they accepted they were going to go to Camp Liberty, which was not perfect by any means. It was going to be a holding camp for 200 people. And what do we know further down the line? They've moved everyone there and they're living in squalor and difficult conditions. And that's not, it's not human what we're doing. So we need to bring that up. Um, but what shocked me even more was the latest attack on September the 1st, when you had people who were left in Camp Ashraf to look after the camp and to sell off the last things they had and the people who were there who were under UN protection were attacked on the 1st of September and these people as we know 
52 people died, which is totally unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And then they took the hostages as well. And out of the hostages, we have, I believe, um, it's seven women or six, six, six women and yeah. one man. Yeah. Um, again, as a, as a woman's rights activist, I, I have great concerns on what is happening to these hostages. Um, and I wrote a letter to um, Cathy Ashton, so really, that's where I stand. Um, I will continue to support you as long as I am an MEP, and I hope I will continue to support you in the next mandate. That is my, my, my job. It is one of my um, areas that I very, feel very strongly on. But we need to get more supporters. We need to continue this fight. Um, if I can be quite straightforward, is that for everyone in this room, you have one issue, which is dealing with uh, Camp Liberty or Camp Ashraf and the refugees. Unfortunately, it is part of a very complex issue that the Foreign Office is trying to deal with uh, with regards to Iran. I was trying to get the Iraqi government to deal with the issue of Camp Liberty um, within the general security issues within Iraq and so on. So, for us, it's a big issue. Um, it hasn't been forgotten. It is on their agenda. Thank you, Mike. Thank you.